Hey, how's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Today guys, as you can see on the screen right now, we're going to be taking a look at the 92 rated Carlos Tevez. Now this guy was heavily requested by you lot. Um, I was getting comments and messages saying, can you please review the Team of the Season Tevez? So basically guys, today I deliver. Now... When it comes to uh, stats with Tevez, his card face stats are very, very good. He's got 88 on the pace, 91 on the dribbling, 94 shooting, 63 defending, 86 passing, and 88 on the heading. Now, considering that he is a striker, well, a card in general, pretty much anywhere they play, if they have stats like that, you expect a hell of a lot when it comes to them playing in-game. And i got to say, Tevez was absolutely fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed using this card. Now, I'm going to go through his minuses to start things off, guys, because honestly, I did not find that many one or two maximum one of the weaknesses i did find is that his weak foot is pretty poor now he's got four star on the skills and three star on the weak foot so you skillers out there that like using skills will enjoy him that much more because you're <laughs> you know you're able to use your mcgeady spins your ronaldo chops and whatnot so you skillers out there will enjoy him a little bit more than obviously three star skills and less and the three star weak foot it did prove to be a problem with me I did get very lucky once or twice and he did manage to tap it in very close to the keeper with his weak foot but other than that guys it was just always terrible there's hardly any power when he uses his weak foot and it was always inaccurate for, for me now obviously we're talking about Carlos Tevez and one of the biggest downsides to Tevez is that he has the high high work rates now I absolutely despise using players with high high work rates because usually they're out of position a lot you know and that's not exactly the issue with Tevez. I mean, he does track back. He, you can expect it with anyone with the high, high work rates, guys. It's something that you have to keep in mind. If you're buying a player with the high, high work rates, keep that in mind that they're not always going to be uh, in the position that you need them to be in. Now, what happened with me with Tevez is I used him all over the place. I used him as a striker, centre forward, centre attacking midfielder, and a centre midfielder. And to my amazement... The best position that he performed for me was striker. Now, I was not expecting that because usually if I use a player with high, high work rates, they usually play best for me back in the middle of the park as the centre midfielder of the team. Now, I tried uh, Tevez in the centre midfield role. He was hardly involved in the games and he felt very wasted. Exactly the same story as a centre attacking midfielder. As a centre forward, he did get involved in the games a lot more, but he just seemed to play at his best when I used him as a striker because that he was just he wasn't always there don't get me wrong he did push back but he was it was in the position that I needed him to be in a hell of a lot more than I expected him to be in is the point I'm trying to get across but it doesn't change the fact guys that he does have the high high work rate so you do need to keep that in mind uh, when purchasing not only Tevez but any player with the high high work rates now guys that's pretty much going to wrap it up because everything else about him turned out to be a plus for me now his pace is very good you will see from a couple of the uh, goals that I've included in this video that his pace does play a critical role in a lot of the goals he scores Dribbling and ball control with him is absolutely phenomenal. 91 dribbling on the card. I've got to agree with that stat and say his dribbling and ball control feels like what 91 should feel like. He's got good strength. Now, it, his in-game stats show 91 on the strength and 99 on the aggression. i got to agree completely with those stats. I think the boy is like only 5'7". So the stats to have stats like that on a player that that's short is kind of rare. And he actually feels, he actually feels that strong guys he does hold his own don't get me wrong he's not going to be you know out strengthening everybody as if, as if he's Ibrahimovic he will get out muscled at times but he does definitely hold his own and he did keep the ball a hell of a lot of times uh, that I expected him to lose the ball so that did put a smile on my face his passing is absolutely phenomenal now for a striker I honestly do not look for passing but he did surprise me his passing is phenomenal and he did make about 10 assists for me in the 15 games that I played with him which obviously put a big smile on my face also another big surprise that i found with him is that he is very good in the air now he's got 80 headed on the card 
which is a decent stat to have, but he is very short, so I expected him to get outbeaten in the air by all the defenders that I come up against. But he did surprise me, and he did score a couple of header goals, and he did get the ball. You know, his, his aerial ability in general was pretty decent for, uh, you know, considering how tall he is. Uh, he's also got the four-star skills that, I, that I've already mentioned, uh, and his right foot shot, guys, saving the best till last. His right foot is absolutely fantastic. You know, when I went into the first few games that I played, the first thing that came to my mind is RVP, in the sense that back when I used the man of the match, Robin Van Persie, nearly every, if not every shot that I took either went in or forced the keeper to pull off a phenomenal save to stop it from going in. That is the exact same thing that happened with me with this version of Tevez. Every single shot that I took with, was either a goal or it forced the keeper to pull off a phen phenomenal save to stop it from going in. So that 94 shot, I gotta disagree with and say he feels a lot better than that, you know? So is he worth it, guys? I gotta say yes. This version of Tevez is absolutely phenomenal. I had a blast using him. The only thing that I gotta say about him, really, guys, is just keep in mind that his high, high work rate is gonna cause him to be out of position at times, and his weak foot isn't the greatest. Other than that, you sh you guys should have a blast with him. I do. I definitely had a blast with him. And I honestly cannot see why you guys shouldn't as well. And that's going to wrap up this team of the season, Carlos Tevez review, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed. As always, if it did help you decide whether or not to buy him, a like on the video is greatly appreciated. And also subscribe today for more player reviews to come in the future. And as always from me, guys, please take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.